He pulled me into our bedroom, right on the other side of this wall. It was not a billing mistake. It all started one evening when I was sitting at my desk at the office. Eight hundred dollars. That's crazy. I began to check the numbers. Too many of them were familiar, particularly one cell phone that I knew belonged to a middle-aged man in our church. The other numbers were from cities across the Midwest. Some of the phone calls were an hour, two, even three hours long. Many of them were in the middle of the night. It was Kaylin, our 15-year-old high-achieving daughter. She'd never lied to us before. My mind could not conceive of such a thing. I'd been sneaking out for weeks to place these calls. It'd become normal to me to go to Dad's car and get his cell phone off the charger, walk down to our detached garage to make the calls. I was horrified. My secret was coming out and my whole world was falling apart. I called the man right there. Of course, he denied everything. Oh, I was only counseling, helping her with her school. I just didn't know what to do. I was angry, hurt, and confused. They had taken my soulmate from me, so I thought my parents were the enemy. Depression, suicide, abuse, cutting, rebellion, eating disorder. I couldn't let anyone into my world anymore. I just wanted my daughter back. But that couldn't happen until we unmasked the predators that had come against our home.